one in this video I will show you the camera of Hit Vision PIR Siren camera color VU and the model is as you can see in the video so for short explanation this camera is 24 hour color which mean it does not have IR light or IR sensor so even in the dark it will switch on the LED light so 24 hour will be in color mode and it also have PIR sensor which detect motion and uh, also have alarm light built in like the police alarm and also have the siren and also have IP67 rating so it is waterproof alright I have connect the camera to the DVR of Hit Vision so uh, this DVR is uh, 7 series or 7.0 turbo ok uh, we go to the configuration and then uh, for the main function that we want to focus in this video we go to the event and in the event setting we have normal event and parameter protection ok first in the normal event uh, it has motion detection, video tempering, video loss, alarm input, alarm output and exception so we want to focus on the motion detection first Alright, uh, first we need to enable the function, enable the setting, the option for the motion detection and make sure you choose the correct channel for your camera. So for my camera here, the colorful camera is channel 1 or A1 or camera 01. Okay, so you can set up the sensitivity. So here I just choose 80% or 60% or which one you like and uh, that's the difference between the PIR and AI because this DVR support AI so here I want to focus more on the PIR so for short explanation about the AI if you choose AI uh, you can choose whether to focus on human or vehicle or both human and vehicle so if I enable this option it will just detect this object human and vehicle or if you disable these two option just enable the AI it will be more or less like PIR so we enable the PIR so the AI will be malfunction and in the draw area okay I zoom so you can see more clear so here I have pre-draw the box uh, you can draw the box into the uh, full area of the image as you can see in the video or just draw a small box so for this video I just draw a small box to show you how the function work ok next go to the admin schedule uh, here is the setting which if you don't want the function working 24 hours so you can set up which o'clock you want it to function just click edit and setting as you want so for the linkage action this is for the normal linkage you can notify for you alarm pop up window buzzer alarm notify surveillance center or send email so this is not important for now ok we go to the most important one here you can use the camera function like alarm out or sound Oh, for the alarm out, this is the external alarm. So, for this video, I don't connect to any external alarm. So, ignore it. And for the sound. 
and for the light we enable it so go back into the area okay if I uh, insert my hand into the camera live view so not into the box yet so no alarm trigger so I insert my hand into the box that I have drawn before oh first oh right okay the alarm has trigger so as you can hear there's the alarm light and siren oh you also need to click apply if you ever do any setting or it will not save your setting Okay, I repeat again if you don't hear my voice because the alarm, the siren sound is too noisy. You need to click apply if you don't click it. So the function will not work because it does not save in the setting. Alright, so this part of the video is how we want to set the alarm time to how many seconds and set the uh, alarm light to how long we want so first we enlarge the camera channel that we want and click PTZ control and click iris plus here at the right and go to the function click iris plus so here you can set it the volume of the siren here I set it slow the alarm time I set it to 5 second and also you can adjust the PIR level ok so that's all for the setting For parameter protection, there are two options that you can choose. Uh, first is line crossing, and second is intrusion. So for the line crossing, as you can see in the video, uh, uh, it use the line method if any person or object uh, cross the line it will trigger the alarm so you can choose uh, either it will trigger from A to B or B to A or just A to B or just from B to A as you can see uh, if you choose both side so either the object cross from B to A or A to B it will trigger the alarm so this Parameter protection for line crossing Use the AI function of the VR So you can Choose uh, either you want to select For detect human only Or the uh, vehicle only Or both Both, uh, both human or non-human object Human and vehicle And this uh, for perimeter protection will not use the PIR sensor of the camera it will just use the AI functionality at the DVR for the linkage action and the army schedule is same as in the normal event just configure to your like so for the intrusion uh, it's the same as the uh, normal event just the different is uh, in the normal event you can use the PIR option that uh, already that, that have at the camera but at the perimeter protection you just can use the AI function which detect human or vehicle so the linkage action and army schedule is all same 
like the line crossing and normal event and uh, that's all uh, make sure you enable it and then click apply so that the so uh, last make sure you enable the uh, setting for land crossing or intrusion that you want to use and then click apply if you don't click apply then the setting will not be safe and the function will not be working